don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell hey guys welcome back to sahara football as usual i am your host salas if you so the quarter versus accra hat of full game that will be played in london has officially been launched it was launched today as the headquarters of the ghana football association a few issues were hit on who will be the referee at the center of this game also a few words from some of the organizers whether it will be televised and whatnot i'll be giving you more details on that as well we're we'll listening also to kevin prince Boateng. he's enjoying his stay already in turkey Besiktas. he moved there over the winter transfer window and he's enjoying his time there it looks like he wants to extend his stay with a turkish giant a Besiktas. also we'll be talking about andre ayu swansea side and if they have a chance of qualifying for the playoff place in you know, order to get into the english premier league the premier league is the destination that most of the swans would like to get back in after being there for a while andre ayu and swan city are fighting hard they played a game in midweek that's on tuesday yesterday against q chris park rangers and it wasn't the result they desired also we'll be hearing from midfielder samuel asamoa who got a hat trick for saint trudings in the belgian league over the weekend i've spoken to you about him i've spoken to you about him on this channel on monday i spoke about him and he is talking about why he was sent off for a second vocable offense and if it was something he didn't know he should have been doing as usual if you are new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates now the porcupine warriors and that game with the phobians has officially been launched at the ghana football association headquarters it was launched this morning and a few pointers that were gotten from that launch i'll be sharing with you so some of the pointers that were shared there have been yet the ghana football association is flying its biggest domestic fixture to the united kingdom now craft folk and protocol will face each other on the 7th of march the game is set to mark ghana's independence anniversary this is for the african game and the gold step also has been confirmed that gtv sports plus will show the hearts of folk versus kumasi asante kotoko clash in london live now the gtv sports plus director george lomote says everything is in place to broadcast the game to as many fans as possible organizers of the kotoko versus hearts match in london say the referee for the game will be appointed by the english fa so definitely not a Ghanaian referee now Asante Kotoko CEO George Amwako seems excited that English FA appointed refs will handle the match in London he goes ahead to warn players the kind of tackles you do in this country don't send it to London because if you repeat those tackles there it is a straight red card quite interesting they're coming from the Kumasi Asante Kotoko CEO George Amwako and those are the few pointers that were gathered from the meeting between Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Accra Hatoful. The official launch of that game that will be played in London on the 7th of March 2020. We are all looking forward to it. Thankfully, GTV Sports Plus have promised us they will televise it. So, in case you are unable to travel with the team to London Barnet Stadium, be sure you can watch it on your phone and live as well. And we hope the best team will win. We hope it's an entertaining fixture. We hope it lives up to the hype. We hope no player comes back in just because if immediately after this game, that weekend, the players will be playing in the Ghana Premier League as well. This is to commemorate Ghana's 64th independence and first Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Some people found it ironic that we're going to celebrate our independence day in another country and also with a foreign referee at the center of the pitch let me know what you think about that does it really matter who is officiating this game or where we are playing this game let me know your thoughts in the comments once i move on to my next story it's about Ghanaian player kevin prince watting now kevin prince watting recently moved to Besiktas from fiorentina in italy he had a torrid time there wasn't getting enough playing time scored only one goal 14 starts for Fiorentina and he was really enjoying life in Italy with Fiorentina. He 
decided to take a lone move from Fiorentina and now is in Besiktas, where he's enjoying life with the team in Turkey. He scored on his debut with Besiktas and it was an amazing time for him. Going to that, he says he's enjoying the life, the fans are amazing and the scenery I think is great for Kevin Prince He wants to stay in Besiktas to play for them for three years. Now Kevin Prince Boateng has reiterated that he would like to stay at Besiktas for the next three years. Now the Ghana International joined the Eagles on loan during the winter transfer window from Fiorentina. He's 32 years old and he made his debut on Saturday and was on target as well, coming off the bench in the second half. Now after seeing this atmosphere, Kevin Prince Quartin said, I would like to stay for three years, but I would like to ask my wife Melissa, he told reporters, hookers coming back to Besiktas and he here raised the club. My friends in Germany, Berlin, sent me messages after the transfer saying, you finally found your home and we hope Kevin Prince Quartin flourishes here in Besiktas with the Turkish Giants. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think he will be a big hit at this Turkish side? He seems to be enjoying himself. He seems to be having a great time. He seems to be happy at his new club. Your thoughts are welcome in the comments because I'm going to my next story. It has to be Ghanaian midfielder Samuel Asamoah. Now, he got in trouble. The second yellow card after he scored his third and final goal, which was the hat trick over the weekend. And he was sent off for a yellow card. He half removed his shirt which displayed the writing which says loves you t-shirt that was under his top apparently it is not allowed for you to take your shirt off that's according to fifa rules as a yellow card is given for such an offense and the player knows that was the case he just got carried away with excitement now saint trudings midfielder samuel asamoa has touched on his sending off during their 5-2 win against caspian in the belgian over the weekend. Now, as Samoa scored a hat trick in the game, as the Canaries ran riot over the opponents 5 2 in front of their supporters at the Stadium Stadium. Now, Ghana did not, the Ghanaian did not complete the match as he was giving his matching orders for two bookable offenses, the second being him taking off his shirt in celebration. He was handed a caution by referee Christophe Gehring in the 52nd minute. The next one followed in the 65th minute after he scored his goal. As someone wanted to show off his Jesus Loves You inscription on his shirt after netting his first hat trick in the season. Of course, I knew that I was not allowed to do that. It was from sheer emotion, the euphoria, that I did that. I am especially happy for our team and staff that we are playing such a good game and getting the three points. I don't remember the last time when I scored three or more times in a game. It must have been a long time ago. I like it. It's a shame that I will have to miss out on next week's game, but I have much confidence what, in our team. Asama has scored four goals in 24 league appearances for St. Trudy this season. So that is it. They're touching on why he got that yellow card and whether he knew that was not allowed. Obviously, he got carried away. And who wouldn't get carried away on scoring their first hat trick? Of the season, it's euphoria, and I think this law by FIFA should be really looked at and revised once again. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think he was rightly sent off for that celebration? Scoring his hat trick, who wouldn't celebrate like that after scoring a hat trick for the first time? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. So, my final story has to do with Andrea Ayu and Swansea City's fight for the championship play off place to play in the Premier League. Now they played KPR on Tuesday night and unfortunately for them they were held to a 0 0 draw. They couldn't come back from that and couldn't get a vital win that would have pushed them further up the table. But it looks like the playoff spots are running away from Andre Ayu and Swansea City. Now the Ghana Ford played as a Swans failed to make their home advantage count. He was on display on Tuesday night for the full length of the game and played out a goalless draw with QPR. The Swans came into the game off the back of that 3-2 loss to Derby County over the weekend. That, however, was impossible with the QPR's record keeping Ayu and Kobe at bay. Despite the absence of goal activity, the Ghana International 
still contributed 37 touches, 88% passing accuracy, also 100% success with his triples and one two of his five aerial dwells. Swansea are ninth and the gap between them and the playoff place. Scored further wider should Bristol City and Preston off a claim victories against RB and Stoke on Wednesday night, respectively. So that has been it for today. I've been looking at the launch of the Hearts versus Quarterball game in London. It has been launched official. It will be on the 7th of March 2020 in London Barnet Stadium. Everything is in place. Do you want to join them? Do you think we should have moved this game to London? Your thoughts are welcome in the comments. Box. Also, I've been talking to you about Kevin Prince Boateng and his newfound love. Besiktas. He wants to play a further three years for them over there. And also, Andrea Iswan City, it is slipping away from them in the championship playoff spot. Samuel Asamoa was sent off for taking off his shirt. He was aware of it, but got carried away with the I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. Bye.